Well, good morning and welcome to worship on this the on April 26th. I have to even <laughs> try and focus hard on what day it is um, because of this pandemic time that we are existing in. And my heart is so glad to be with you today. My name is Pastor Jeannie Sortland, and I am the, pan the pastor of the Kensal Eli Methodist Church. So warm welcome to them today, and also St. John's United Methodist Church in Wimbledon. And so hello to all joining from there. And for those that are just stopping by and aren't affiliated with either church, I extend a huge welcome and shout out to you today. I am so glad you are worshiping with us. And so I hope you are able to stick around and see how things go. So let's begin today with prayer. So why don't you take a couple minutes to breathe and settle into an attitude of worship and prayer. Generous God, we thank you for your presence with us as we gather virtually this morning. We are reminded of the many times we have doubted and feared. Today, banish our fears with the memory of the resurrection of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Remind us again that through all our troubles, doubts, and fears, your power, mercy, and love are with us. Be with, be with us in every word read and spoken that it is your true light shining through. Amen. And so we are going to study through the first letter of Peter. So we're starting in chapter one today and I will read the opening or the salutation, the first two verses. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the exiles of the dispersion in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, who have been chosen and destined by God the Father and sanctified by the Spirit to be obedient to Jesus Christ and to be sprinkled with his blood. May grace and peace be yours in abundance. So, here we have that first letter of Peter, and sometimes this is called the Epistle of Hope. And most scholars agree that this was not written by the disciple Peter, but rather someone writing in his name, memory, or in honor of P Peter. And the reason this is generally accepted is because the timeline on this letter appears to be around 75 AD. And Peter would have died around AD 64 to 68, is what records kind of indicate. But so this letter is included with the, the Catholic or the universal letters included in the New Testament that weren't addressed to specific churches, um, say like First and Second Corinthians, um, Philippians, Galatians, Ephesians. Um, and so it wasn't written regarding specific issues, but these were applicable or Catholic or universal um, to all Christians at the time. These early believers had been through some really difficult stuff. You know, they had to watch the, temp the temple in Jerusalem be destroyed right in front of them in 70 AD. And there were war wars and famine and persecution for their faith. Um, you know, some of these people were killed or beaten. Um, it was pretty tough to be a Christian in that time. And, and the word used here was dispersion. Um, but these were people who were part of the diaspora, or some people say diaspora, by the converts from Peter's sermon in Acts 2. So they were the Jewish Christians and Gentile Christians that headed out 
to Asia Minor to establish churches and ended up having diverse enough communities that they didn't fit in with anyone else. So they came to be called God-chosen strangers. God's chosen strangers. Um, some people think this is the elect, if you, if you have those roots. Um, but it's God's chosen strangers in the CEB, exiles in the NSRV, and aliens in the New American Standard Bible. So these were people living in hostile faith environments. Some people think that the Christians in our time, in our area, are being persecuted. And to that, I just want to quote a little Bachman-Turner Overdrive. Baby, you ain't seen nothing yet. So I will actually post that song later for those that are too, you know, that you're too young of punks to know the reference. And for those that might start to think I'm older than I am, this song was released before I was born. I won't tell you how long, but it was released before I was born. So on that note, see what I did there? Pun intended. <laughs> okay, if you're sick of my humor now, on that note, let's see what Solomon will be up to in the children's message. And video credit for this goes to Tylea, who much prefers to be behind the camera rather than in front of it. 